so the elf deck was interesting. I would not be surprised to, you know, recording this on Thursday before Grand Prix Melbourne, Detroit, uh, and uh, Europe. There's one on each general vicinity, general area of the Magic World. You know, Pacific, North America, Europe. I forget what the European one is, but uh, not be surprised to see one or more of these in the top eight. But at the same time, like, I feel like this is a deck that has, like, a high failure rate in terms of, like, playing against other decks that aren't Eldrazi in the field. Which is kind of awkward. Like, I don't think you're ahead against Affinity, but I could be wrong. I definitely don't think you're ahead against Infect. And, like, the, the weird part is that these, like, Eldrazi decks, like, I played against an Eldrazi deck right there that just had so much sweep, like, so many sweepers that I could have just lost easily. And, like, my wins against Eldrazi weren't very clean, I, it's it's fine, but I'm not seeing the reason to play this over just playing Eldrazi. I don't think the modern metagame is that adapted to the point that it is a higher value play to play Elves. But at the same time, I'm not saying that playing Elves isn't going to pay people off. Uh just the question is, is whether if you're going down this road of such a hateful deck, whether you aren't just better off playing like all in red or lantern. Um, and if being this like somewhat actual creature deck really gives you enough. Uh, in the sideboard, I definitely would want to like moving forward just in general, like ignoring the Eldrazi question. Um, if you're going to worship, which I'm not even sold, like just watching the matches I played, I didn't even want worship against either of the Eldrazi decks I played against. Really, just too many all is dust, world breaker nonsense things going on. Um, if I was going to go down that road, I don't know how many of these guilt leaf palaces could stay guilt leaf palaces, which is kind of awkward because you do want like two black sources in play for this creature. So there's a lot of conflicting things. Messenger was great. This card was very very good. Um, I would not play less than four. Cord was unimpressive, but fine. I think Cord plus Shaman is like kind of a required package because it's always the second Shaman that kills them. And Shaman plus Messenger is fine. Uh, the sideboard, like this, 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 this were all unnecessary. So that's five cards. You could play other spells. This is also unnecessary. Let's just pull this out a little bit. Um, that's like six slots that weren't actually that good. Worship also wasn't great, but, um, definitely want like a Chameleon Colossus. If I'm going to cord board, I want a Phyrexian Revoker. That card is just so good to cord for against so many things. Um, it's possible the 19th land should be in the deck. Uh, it's also not unreasonable that it's like a play draw decision, though. The problem with adding a 19th land is you don't want to cut down on any elves or like, it would be a quarter calling would be what you'd cut. Just the, the core of the deck of elves and creatures you can hit with Galactic Companies too tight. Um, let's see what else did I list from this evaluation. Uh, we wanted... Yeah, Chameleon Colossus just seems awesome. Let's just pull that one up here. Because I did not actually st talk about the text of it last time. So it's a 4-4 four, four changeling, which means it's a 4-4 four, four elf for 4 with protection from black. So it doesn't die to any of the removal spells, lightning bolt, or anything. And you can pump it. And with this deck, that gets pretty excessive pretty fast if they don't have a uh, creature to block with. So, worth noting that this card exists. I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like this weird spot where I don't want to board anything out of the deck to, make the, to put these cards in my deck. And, like, there's not a lot of elf hate cards out there for me. Like, creatures that are elves that are hate cards, too. Um, like, uh, let's pull up this one. Uh, is this how you spell it? I'm not out of reach of putting this card in my sideboard. Uh, like, this is a way to beat living end. They cannot living end your creatures. So it also beats all this dust. So, like, this is a card that just might have ended up in my sideboard for this tournament if I played Elves. Um, you, it's it's hard to find creatures that I want to put in this deck. So, 
I don't know. This deck's fine. I, it doesn't feel like... It feels like a really, really one-trick pony, though. Um, not a lot of staying power. I remember recording with this a while back and just dying to, like, combo or other better linear decks. Um, but if you want something that, like, attacks Eldrazi from a different angle, sure. Why not try it? 